yes this is the bridge rectifier ic so diode already we are studied so this one uh, it is also there in the syllabus so here if i make it downwards like this four leads are there so out of which two are ac that is input from the transformer one is positive and one is negative lead leg so in that fashion we have to connect to the breadboard so when we turn it up so in the four legs so positive and negative it is clearly written over here positive and negative that means it is output for the output i should connect so here you can see the ac sine wave symbol so one here one leg and another leg i will bend it so that you can see it clearly so these two legs are the ac so transformer secondary i should get to these two leads and positive and negative that is the output across rl that is the load resistor i have to give these two leads yes we already studied a test bridge rectifier using semiconductor diodes we have used four semiconductor diodes so and rectifier ic is also there so instead of four diodes i have to take one rectifier ic so that has got four leads i already explained so out of which one is positive so that positive lead has to be connected over here across the load resistor and the negative leg again i have to take the black wire and take across the load resistor over here so from the same line i have to take one red wire and one black wire and for the cro probe i have to connect a positive to positive negative to negative according to the circuit diagram instead of again i am telling instead of four diodes i have used rectifier ic so the secondary i will show you how to give the secondary winding of the transformer to the uh, bridge rectifier ic so this is the secondary winding of the transformer 6 and 6 i have used so this is the bridge rectifier ic so input side ac it is clearly written ac so for that i have given one line and another opposite to that again one ac line is there so i will give ac over here so secondary i have connected over here to the bridge rectifier ic input so across the load resistor across this load resistor i have connected the cro output again i am getting the reading same as the rectifier diode like this so the frequency is also same 1 and 2 2 into again 5 so here in the time division 5 is there so 2 into 5 10 so that is 10 diva 1000 divided by 10 is 100 hertz the same reading i am getting over here also 100 hertz in the bridge rectifier diode also by rectifier ic also i have got the same uh, result that is the frequency result similarly what we did for semiconductor diode the, in the same fashion we have to uh, give the connections also and take the tabular column readings also tabular column using rectifier ic input voltage v in in volts first column second one is output ac voltage vrms in volts next output dc voltage vdc in volts and the ripple factor calculation same so r is equal to vrms by vdc so by using the multimeter uh, we have to measure these all readings so again take a multimeter and keep it in ac mode and in the secondary winding of the transformer so so the reading what i am getting is 14.42 that i will going to write over here 14.42 volts next is output ac uh, voltage across load resistor so here across load resistor means acro across the load resistor that is vac has to be measured that is vrms 
पॉजिटिव टू पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव टू नेगेटिव आई शुड कनेक्ट सो आई हैव कनेक्टेड पॉजिटिव टू पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव टू नेगेटिव अक्रॉस लोड रेजिस्टर एंड द रीडिंग आई एम गेटिंग इज 6.18 पॉइंट वन एट ओल्ड ए सी सिक्स पॉइंट वन एट ओल्ड दैट आई हैव रिटर्न नेक्स्ट आउटपुट डी सी वोल्टेज वी डी सी इन ओल्ड्स सो फॉर दैट वन आई हैव टू कीप द मल्टीमीटर इन डी सी मोड दैट इज डी सी वोल्टेज मोड सो अगेन आई हैव टू मेजर Across load resistor, I have to measure the uh, VDC now, positive to positive, negative to negative. So in the meter, I have getting 11.59 volts. It is DC. Volts. So for the calculation of the ripple factor, VRMS by VDC, 6.18 volts divided by 11.59 पॉइंट फाइव नाइन ओल्ड्स सो लेटस कैलकुलेट इट आई विल गेट अप्रॉक्सिमेट पॉइंट फाइव जीरो ओल्ड्स सो थेरोटिकली इट शुड कम एज पॉइंट फोर एट ओल्ड्स सो प्रैक्टिकली वी आर गेटिंग पॉइंट फाइव जीरो अप्रॉक्सिमेट so this is the uh, bridge rectifier circuit diagram this is without filter so this is the output of the bridge rectifier without filter that means it is impure dc it is a dc right but it is in impure form so for make it filtration so we have to put a capacitor across the load resistor so when we put a capacitor across the load resistor the ripple has been reduced and the charging of the discharging of the capacitor through the cro i will going to show you so across the load resistor i have to uh, connect the capacitor so electrolytic capacitor 100 mfd 25 volts i have taken so this is the negative leg and this is the positive leg so when we are connecting uh, across the resistor positive to positive negative to negative should be connected properly otherwise the capacitor will blow off so in the same fashion so here the longer so this is the rectifier dc it before connecting the capacitor filter so when i will going to connect a capacitor filter across the load resistor so like this positive to positive negative to negative see the result so complete uh, straight line type result i am getting so i have to reduce the amplitude so see the charging and the discharging of the capacitor it is clearly showing the ripple also decreased so when i change the capacitor value again if i put higher value of the capacitor again the ripple is going to reduce so first i have put 100 mu fd capacitor now i will put 470 mu fd capacitor this is 470 mu fd capacitor i will put so i will remove the 100 mfd capacitor and i will put the 470 mu fd capacitor what happens to the output you just see see again the ripple is reduced almost straight line dc is always straight line almost straight line i am getting if i uh, again remove 470 mfd and uh, put 1000 mfd capacitor again uh, further straight line i will get this is the 1000 mu fd capacitor so i will put it and you see the result so i have put uh, in the third uh, case is 1000 mu fd 25 volts capacitor c almost straight line i am getting pure dc i am getting so here we have used three capacitor 100 mu fd 470 mu fd and uh, 1000 mu fd 
when we are going to increase the capacitance value almost pure dc we am getting so if i used a 2200 or a 3300 mu fd capacitor straight line that is pure dc i will get